Hello everyone, it's Virginie. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today it's uh, Wednesday and I'm up to show you a very cool um, challenge today, uh, which is um, part of the Tati Treasure and Friends Facebook group. And uh, the hashtag that we use for this challenge challenge sorry is hashtag wallbook challenge and i am up for the day 12. so what is about this challenge tanya from tati treasure um asked us to participate uh, with a wall book here which we uh, removed from the cover and we have we have all those book pages uh, available for us to use and what she did is that she cut a uh, whole 500 pages book in uh, 31 person and then each person have 16 pages each day to work with and make some uh, embellishments or sort of things to use in your junk journal so today i will show you eight cool uh, way to use book pages in your journal so we will have some uh, pockets we will have some envelope we will have some signature pages so all that stuff so please um, keep it with me and stay with me until the end of the video and i will uh, show you through each step of each uh, small project it won't take a lot of time. It's a very quick uh, challenge just to use up our book pages and have a full stuff of uh, ready-made uh, thing to use in our journal. So we won't decorate anything today. We will just make we will just make some bases, and so when uh, we will work on a journal that. In my case, for example, I'm just working on a botanical journal. It's a small uh, booklet that I have here. I just started to put some signature uh, on for now. So it will be a botanical journal, as I told you. So I won't decorate it uh, for my botanical journal, but I will uh, show you how I can use some of the element in my journal. So let's get started. Let's take. A book pages we will put it in landscape direction I will fold my book pages in half mark the center on the top and on the bottom I can just go over with my pencil to be more easy for you to see okay so I will take my ruler and will put my ruler up on the middle part I will fold that paper here turn it over to have my folding corner on the top again I put my roller here and fold the other opposite corner in the same way okay so and uh, now we will make the envelope okay so i will fold the bottom part we, now we have in a portrait so i will fold the bottom part i need to go um deeper than this folding corner here okay so i need to go over this point so i will make a little uh, mark okay like so and make a crease okay now i have when i fold i have some uh, of this portion here which will be covered by this part here so when i will put my glue here on this edge it will be on this one here okay if you fold it to uh, not enough uh, not far enough 
then you won't be able to glue your envelope. So it's really important to go over this line here, okay? Over this point where the angle form here, okay? The folding envelope. So I'll go this, this much, okay? And then I will fold my flap. So for the flap, again, I will match with this corner here and I will make my flap this much here. Okay, so here it's not going and it's going this much here. Okay, so now uh, we can have, we can glue and have our envelope. There is two options for you. Uh, the first one is to glue this edge here and this edge here. And then you will have this like so, okay? The second uh, one is to remove this section here to have more like a regular envelope. It's totally up to you. So if you want to remove that, I will show you how I do. So it's this portion here. So I will just have to cut from here to here. And I will just cut that down on the line. like so okay so you have that okay you have just to cut slightly over your line just to be sure that it won't go inside your way okay when you will fold it okay so let's put the glue together so on this line and on this line don't put glue on this section here and don't go all the way through here you need to stop here okay and then you have your envelope here with a wonky asymmetrical flap so this is one of the project also of course you can uh, ink your edges before gluing that down you could have your little um, corner here going down to not have a pointy edge here and just add a little glop a little drop of glue on that angle okay and then you have your little envelope here adding just a little bit of ink for you to see better what we have here okay so it's really really simple so we will do another one for you to be sure so i will uh, this time i will just uh take the one that i trim on three sizes just to have another size of envelope because regarding the size of your book pages you will have a different size of envelope so let's fold it in half so you will see that if you uh, put a good uh, crease here, the middle is showing and you don't need to have your ruler when you just have made uh, one, two and three envelope. It's really simple. You don't have to take your ruler. You just have to align this part and this part here. It is that easy. Okay, so I'll go more than 
this here because it is my fault. So at least I go all the way down, okay? I can go more, but I can't go less. At least I need to go until here. I can't fold here because otherwise you see that the envelope is not closed. Okay, so this is my envelope and for this time I will leave my bottom open. So I will just glue this and this. And I can also glue there. You just have to glue where the paper is. Yeah, is. Okay. So you have this. And then you fold as much as you want. Uh, maybe I will fold. Uh, hmm. I will fold that more than. I want a small envelope. So I will do it this way. And as you can see now, just to show you that you can really manage whatever you want, you can just see that now I have way too much of the flap going down the bottom. So I need to mark where I want it to stop. So for example, I will take this comma here. As you can see, I'll take a point where it's uh, less than the bottom of my envelope and I will just draw a line wherever where I want okay and I will just draw a line like so okay and I will cut what I need to cut And now I have my envelope and there I have some uh, part which is uh, go sticking on the top so what I will do is I will just glue this part here but before I glue that I will just ink it just to show you that it just will add some interest in your envelope before to make your college, it's already, before to decorate your envelope, it's already looking interesting. Okay, and just the top here. Okay. So I will glue now this. And this. In my bottom section. And now we have our little envelope here. And we can make it a little bit too big. Let's trim that down a little bit. Just to show you our little envelope here okay so of course you can go as much as you want you can take the ephemera as you want but as you can see that it's it's this ephemera is taller than my envelope so that's okay but you have your little pocket here okay you can make a slant if you want here so what I mean with a slant is that you take a pinch and you just uh, you will just make a little uh, here. So, of course, I should have wait for my glue to dry, but that's okay. You see the point, okay? Then it's it's become easier to remove that down. So we have our little. Uh, asymmetrical envelope. I want to show you a double burrito pocket. Okay, 
So, for the burrito pocket, what we need is, we need a square. So, before to have my square, I want to trim my edge down because I don't want a burrito to be too big. Okay. We remove that side here and this side here. Okay. So, for now we have a rectangle and I need a square. So, I make a triangle and I will just cut what is going above that triangle and I will just keep my triangle here. Okay, let's go that. Okay. So we have our square here. Okay. And we have our middle line here. So we will just fold, we will put our uh, square on the diagonal here, and we will fold this point and this point above the middle line. So we won't go just until the middle line. So let me, let me ink the middle line for you to see properly what I mean. Okay, so this is my middle line. So my corner won't go just on the middle line. It will overlap a little bit from here. And I will make sure that my side here is aligned as much as I can with a line of my mat to be straight, okay? So I will flap it over and I will put this one slightly over the middle line and be sure that it's uh, as straight as I can in the, in the um, side, okay? So I will glue just this little corner here. I don't want the glue uh, to be too much because I don't want the glue to go under uh, this section here. I want to have my pocket here, okay? So as you can see, when you glue just the small corner, you have a pocket here. But I want to have something more interesting I want to have a double burrito pocket. So I will take the leftover of my page and I will make a smaller square and we will do exactly the same. Make a triangle, remove the excess of the triangle, think the edges then it's easy for you to see what is going on. Align the diagonal with your mat and go over this line a little bit and make it straight. Turn it over, align your line and go exactly the same way. And just glue this corner here on top of the other one and we will now um, put our double pocket together okay so let's glue let's ink first the edge of our burrito for this one okay. 
Okay. And we will put both of the burrito together. And how we will do that? We will just glue. around this edge and along this edge here. Put it in the center, align both of the center line and have it this way, okay? Usually I don't uh, ink the middle line here. I just did it uh, for you to understand what uh, it should like it should look like okay so now we have a pocket here on the back and we also have a pocket here okay and if we just uh, want to add something you can make a four pocket just by a sewing a line on the middle and have a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here, okay? That's another option. So, to show you in a journal how it looks like, so I uh, just uh, take my signature, and we can just have it around a page here, glue it, um, put the glue all the way here to have just our two pockets together or we can just choose to glue this point here and this point here and use that burrito as a belly band okay so maybe uh, we can take a bigger uh, if I take a tag we can have a belly band like so okay so it's totally up to you how you want that to be so the burrito pocket is project number two so i hope it's clear so you can always go back and uh, see the process again is to make a flip journaling space okay so we will have uh, really simple we will have something to put on the on the bottom of our uh, signature on the bottom of our page and we will have something to go and flip on the bottom of the page. Let me show you quickly how it look. Okay, so uh, again, I will use a trimmed edge for this project. Okay, so to make my fold, I will first take a little bit on the bottom and glue that down to add a bit of uh, strength in my paper okay so just a little fold and glue that down over then i will uh, fold that uh, as much as i want i will fold the other part first a little bit uh, wider to have a flap okay and then I will fold the bottom part under the first line and just make a crease okay so basically it's just as a regular envelope on the, on the, the ID is like a regular envelope, but I won't use that as a regular envelope. I will use that as a flip, as I told you. So, um, I will definitely take a page and show you what I mean. So, let me ink this a little bit. Okay. And I will glue the 
uh, top flap on the bottom of a page or on top of a page as you want. Uh, actually, I will I will put it this time on the top of the page to have my little uh, words in the right direction. It's up to you uh, again, okay? So when you uh, open it, this flap, you can decorate this part. And when you open it, you have a flap. You can add some journaling space here to just have a little bit more uh, interesting journaling space in your journal and you can make a little surprising the de decoration on the under this page so this is project number three so let's me show you again so you fold a little bit on the bottom to have a little uh, strength on your page fold that down make a flap on the top which will be glued into your journal okay and just fold the bottom part as much as you want okay so basically this part will be glued in your journal and you will have this flip and this time if i put it on the bottom of my page that will be uh, my page that will be uh, in the right direction okay so and you can um fold it as much as you want maybe you can fold it in three parts instead of two parts and have a smaller thing here and make a tuck spot that is another option i show you so you glue that down in your journal okay and you can glue that down and have three flap going down one two three totally up to you or you can glue it on the bottom and have your flap going down okay so this is project number three project number four is to make a belly band so we will take a book page uh, we will try to have a page that is um, the same size of your signature or a bit uh, bigger i explain you you will fold it in landscape and you will fold these uh, book pages in three okay and the other one going here okay and we can then take the bottom part and fold it a little bit back means i have a first fold okay the second fold all the way down and then i'll take a little bit of a flap and i fold it back in this direction okay so what does i mean by uh, choosing the right uh, uh, the right uh, size of the book is that for example my journal is about one two three four five six seven eight and a quarter of an inch high okay so if i take a page for example the first one and i want my belly band this one will be bigger than my journal okay so i have two options the first one is cut it to size hmm. that could be a choice the second one which i will do is just fold it back a little bit glue this part here and this part here and just have 
a small pocket in my belly band. I will glue the top and the bottom this way. And then if I ink I decide to make another pocket I will just cut uh, some of the bits here to remove some bulkiness so I will just open my belly band here have a little uh, flap here and cut this section here and this section here and glue that down So we have a pocket here by gluing this side and this side on the belly band. Okay. We will glue that part and that part to have our belly band here. Then we can fold something on the top. And then you can choose you can glue this just here to have a side pocket here and another pocket here okay so you have a pocket here if i take out my ticket a pocket here and a pocket here and our belly band to go there how cool is that? I love that project. So this is project number four. Okay, for the project number five, I will show you a very cool um, flip uh, side page pocket with a double pocket on one side and a decorative edges, edge on the other side. Let me show you what I come up with. So that will be like so. So you will have a decorated border here. And when you flip your journal over, you will have this cool double pocket. One here and one here. So you can see one pocket and one other pocket, okay? So let me show you how I did that. Okay, so the easiest way to make uh, this uh, double pocket with the decorative edge on the other side of your journal is to first fold one of the border like so and glue that down with your glue stick to have a little bit uh, more sturdiness in your thing okay so you have that and then you will take uh, this you will flip that over okay then you have the folding edge the folding border on the back side of your desk and you will pinch your book pages and make a fold like so so if i ink this fold for you to show as you may see i just pinch it and fold it back 
near my hedge as you can see here okay then i have uh, now this i have pinched it here okay and this this uh, page here I need to fold it back so I have my two pocket here so let's put the um, let's pinch the to make the pocket more clear for you to understand okay so maybe I, I go a little bit uh, too big so I can just slightly go down to have a deeper pocket okay then I have my first pocket here and my second pocket here so now I have too much here compared to there okay so I will flip that over turn my pocket down and I will fold that back on the back side okay then I have now my um, side here. I will trim that down later. Okay, so I have here my two pockets. Pocket here and a pocket here. Okay, and we have now our um, flip over hedge on this back. So we need to decorate this edge here and I need to trim uh, my page down to fit to my page. So let's go this way. Just cut that down here and get that on here. Then that will fit perfectly to my page. Okay. So now what I will do with this edge is you can uh, make a decorated edge, you can tear it by hand, you can use a decorative scissor, you can use whatever you want and I will just cut this uh, where the text is uh, stopping, okay? I want um, make this uh, on the border i choose to go at the end of the text this is my preference but it is up to you to do what you want what you prefer okay So we will ink to emphasize the border, add a bit of ink here and here and you will see what we have now. So I will glue All this uh, decorated flap here to my page. Okay. Well, actually, I prefer it to have this and this way to have my text on the right direction okay so I have my decorative border glued down in my uh, signature they are not binded together so it's a bit wonky at the moment so I have my decorative border here and when I go here I have this okay so I need to um, make it uh, here so I have uh, again I have some option here okay I can leave a full pocket or I can decide to make two pocket from the bottom and only one to the top so the way to do that is I will make two slants 
on the first pocket and I will glue on the middle here and on both edge for my first one. Then I will have a pocket here and a pocket here. I will have two pockets. Let me show you. One pocket here and one pocket here with the glue here. And then I will go the second one on the edge to have a single pocket. And on this one, I can put something uh, bigger. Mm, where is my card or tag or something? Yeah, can I find it quick? Okay, I have a bigger tag here, which is not decorated. And I can put another tag here, okay? So we will have one pocket here, one pocket here, and one pocket here. So this is project number five. For project number six, I will make six, seven, and eight. I will make some signature page. So the first simple way to make a signature page from a book page is to just uh, fold it in half. And you can see that you can already use that in your journal like so, but it's not very uh, fancy, right? <laughs> so I need to embellish that a little bit. So the easiest way to do that is to take a stencil, any stencil that you have, and just choose um, ink a color that you want and just go over your stencil as light as you want or as uh, intense as you want. You can have some uh, intense part, you can have some lighter part. It's totally up to you. It's really easy and very quick. You can use this uh, in your journaling uh, signature, or you can use this stenciling uh, page in your college. You can use this background uh, to make some envelope, some pocket, or anything you want, but I like to use that in my signature just like so. So I have made another one here with a different stencil as you can see, okay? And uh, what you can do for the inside, if you don't have to have uh, both sides with text, you can just uh, go with some uh, gesso inside and put as much coat as you want, and you can journal on top of it, or you can uh, just glue some uh, tea dyed or coffee dyed paper or lined paper or anything that you want, to make some journaling space here. So again, very easy to add in your journal, just by folding it in half and choosing a spot, maybe, maybe here, that would be nice. And just add your book page here and just have it like so, okay? So, Bim, you have a book page with some journaling space inside. Very quick and very easy to do. For project number seven, very simple. You can have a signature double pocket. So the way to do that, really simple. You just fold your book pages. In, at the width that you want only one fold you make 
one slant on each side. Fold your page in half. So you have your half page here. You will just slightly, very slightly remove a tiny, hairy bit on the middle here to avoid the bulkiness in your journal. I will just show you how that will look like in your journal quickly ink and you will just glue all the side of your pockets like so and when you will bend bind your uh, signature together in the middle you won't have any bulkiness because you remove the slight air paper on the crease okay so again you choose a spot in your journal and you just add your book page signature page in your journal so that was project number seven and for the last project is almost uh, it's almost the same uh, project you take a book page okay and this side we will make a envelope signature page okay so we will have a flap here We will fold the bottom part near the crease, not on the crease, but just a little bit. Let me ink to show better. Okay, so I have my flap here and I will fold slightly under that line. Okay. I will open and then I will make a little uh, thing here, which I will glue with my glue stick very quickly. Okay, and then my flap here and I will have that. So again, you fold your project in half. And again, on your flap, you will remove a slight, a tiny, airy bit on the fold here and on the side we will make another same yeah and again we will glue all the edge You can still make a, a slant here if you want, but that's not necessary. And again, when you have your signature together, you can have your page like so. Have a pocket here, 
you need to just let, let the glue grab for a minute and on the other side you have your other pocket here so that was project number eight so i will um just uh make a quick review of the project that we had today so project number one was to make um, a symmetrical envelope with a flap here it was project number one in different sizes project number two was to make a double burrito a pocket with a pocket here and the biggest pocket here okay was project number two project number three was our little uh, flap so like so that we you can uh, glue uh, as you want in your page all the way around for project number three project number four was our belly band with a pocket here a pocket here a pocket here and a pocket here project number four project number five was our decorating edges on one side and double pocket uh, this way decorated edge oops sorry on one side and double pocket on the other side like so then we had our um, decorative stamped signature page. We have our signature double pocket. And last but not least, our signature double pocket with a flap like an envelope. So it means one project, two project, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ways to use uh, your book pages in some kind of uh, project. Uh, for your junk journal okay so let's have a quick review of our project for the wall book challenge um, on day 12 which was uh, from the facebook group tati treasure and friends so i encourage you to go uh, to check all the challenge which will be linked in the vi video description box below so the first project that I show you was this uh, asymmetric envelope with a pocket here. So we made this one here. We made uh, this uh, burrito envelope here, which have burrito pocket here, which have one pocket here, which go down to the bottom and another smaller one on top of it so you can glue in your journal on each point here and have a belly band here or another pocket so that was project number two project number three was a belly band so we had your belly band in your journal here with a pocket here a pocket here and a third pocket here so easy project here project number three 
project number four was a flip a flip a journaling uh, space uh, sorry i put it this way in your journal glue this flap here and you have three journaling space down the bottom here so that was project number four here project number five was this double pocket here in your journal one two with this decorative edges on the other uh, side it go this way in your journal let me show you once again so this one will be glued here you will glue the top and the bottom of a pocket here a smallest put pocket here and with your decorative border here so this was project number five project number six was to make a, a stenciled um, journal signature very simple and you can glue some journaling space journaling paper here or uh, had some gesso to cover the text with so that was project number six project number seven was a signature page with two pockets on each side and you will bind your book here project number seven and project number eight will be uh, again a double pocket with a flap which more looks like an envelope project number eight so i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and uh, I hope you can uh, follow each of the participants for this month. In the next video, I will decorate all these uh, bits here and will make uh, some addition for my botanical journal. So have a nice day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.